Okay, what is a Gantt chart? Well, Gantt charts invented by Henry Gantt in about 1910 are a way of planning your project. So you have the time scale across the top. I've got months here, but it could be weeks. And then you have your main tasks. This is known as the critical path here. And these are the ones that define how long your project's gonna take. In my simplified example here, I've got building a house with the foundations, the walls, the roof, and then let's say the carpets or something. So you've got your critical path, and then you've got some floating tasks here where you've got a bit of choice about when you do them. So the electrical bit, as soon as we've got the walls in, we could do the electrical bit anywhere in this space. And then the garden, we could do any time after the foundation. So that's a floating task. So you have critical tasks and you have floating tasks. Now, why would we want one of these Gantt charts? And there are three reasons why they're great, really. The first one is just communications just explaining to people, this is the plan. That's your bit there, it's gonna happen in May. That's your bit there, it's a floating task. So everybody can see the plan mapped out. The second reason why it's great is you could think about resources. So you can look vertically and you can think, oh, in June we're gonna be pretty busy because we're gonna be doing the carpets. We have to do the carpets. We might be doing the electrical stuff and the garden. But as you can see, if we move the electrical bit a bit later, the garden a bit earlier, we can get rid of overlaps sometimes. So we can see how busy we're gonna be well into the future. So it's great for resource planning. And then finally, you can monitor your progress using your Gantt chart. So let's suppose it is June, you have a thing called the now line, this used to be a piece of string, but obviously this would all be on a computer now. Excel is probably the best way to do it, but there are software programs that do it. So you have the now line that moves along, and the game is to try to keep up with the now line. So in this case, we would hope that we've done the foundations, we've done the walls. Um, if it looked like this, it would mean that we're not quite keeping up, because we should have done the roof by the time we get to June. So if it looks like this, the project manager can immediately tell that the project is running behind them, therefore we're probably not going to be ready by the end of August. So what we want to see is that we've done the roof, we've finished the garden, and we've just started on the carpets and the electrical work, and then we know we're on schedule. So that's all a Gantt chart is. It's just a plan mapped out with time along the horizontal, but it does allow us to do all those things. You really should have a Gantt chart for every project you do. It's the first question I ask if somebody says they've got a project, I say, can I see the Gantt chart? And if they haven't got one, I would worry.